Welcome to another unboxing from theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. Today I'm unboxing fresh off the P500. In fact, I just received this game this week from GMT Games. Hitler's Reich, World War II in Europe. And one thing I want to point out, this game is a one or two player game. So there is a fully developed solitaire system. I know Vez Arponen, the designer for All Bridges Burning Volume 10 in the coin series from GMT Games, uh, worked on designing this solitaire system for this game. This is a card-based game. I think it's actually called a Card Conquest System. And I believe it's the first in a, an anticipated series of games. Uh, but you'll notice it says two hours. So it's basically, it was, it was marketed as World War II in under two hours with no dice, with cards. So there you go. Um, nice looking front. These are pictures that we've all seen uh, dozens of times. I know that uh, there was some controversy over the initial version of this cover that was put out. Uh, they, everyone felt it was too German-centric, and I think they toned that down. So we get the final product. I think it looks great. Nice job, Roger McGowan. But you'll notice the game is designed by a tandem, Mark McLaughlin and Fred Schachter. I interviewed both of these uh, gentlemen, boy, it was almost 18 months ago about this game. And they did a fantastic job in answering my questions and giving people a good understanding of what the game uh, is about and how it played. Um, but yeah, just came, uh, came off the P500. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I pre-cut the plastic. I don't know why I feel the need to do this actual unboxing on camera. I don't think Alexander does it. He doesn't really care. I don't know why I do either. Um, you can see this is the smaller two inch box, but it is a very sturdy two inch box. It's made out of good uh, solid cardboard. It's probably going to be hard to open. It looks to be that way, but that's, that's okay. Once again, there's a look at that cover. So the first thing we see is the rules of play. And there, remember I mentioned a card conquest system. That's what this is, Hitler's Reich, World War II in Europe. And this is the rule book. The rules are 24 pages. And then I think, there you go, a word about the game's box cover art. So that may talk a little bit about what's there and maybe some of the controversy uh, that I remember seeing maybe a year ago when they started bringing out the draft, uh, the draft of uh, of the cover. So here's a look at the scenarios. I think what I'm looking at. This game is not going to be difficult to learn. I think it will be picked up fairly easily. Nice full color rule book. Very nice paper. It's glossy. Um, there's going to be some really good pieces. We'll look at here in a moment. But I think this is a very uncomplex game, but I'm not gonna say it's a simple game or a game that you're not going to find challenging, interesting, and or without uh, strategic decision making. So you're basically, once again, you're playing cards, um, you're using their events, you're also using the numbers. Here, I'll show you a look before we, there's a look at the card, event card type and uses. You can see there are icons on the top. There are symbols. I think that identifies who can benefit from that. So you can see this can be used by both the allies and the axis. The name of the card, summary of the card's effect. That's gonna add combat die uh, to, the, to your roll. And then description of card's effects. Use in land conflict, add one die in a land conflict. You know what, I think there are dice. Now that I'm, I'm trying to remember, sorry. Yeah, there are dice. Sorry, my fault. I was getting, I actually just unboxed D-Day at Iwo Jima and I think I was getting those confused. So anyway, there's a look at the book. I, I apologize. You'll notice for those that are coin fans, these are a look at the uh, wooden pieces and they look a lot like, uh, a lot like coin pieces. So there's a look at the rule book. And then here you got a lot of the player aids and it looks like there's quite a few. So this is player aid three. They have a setup showing you where you're gonna put your forces. So there's one, here's the Axis bot chart. So this is what I'm talking about. This is that fully 
integrated solo system that was designed or worked on by Vez Arponen. So it looks really good. We'll have to read up on it and see how it plays. Once again, I'm not a diehard solo player, but I do like to uh, to play solo when I, when I can't find someone to play. But here's a couple of the other charts. Nice looking, full color, very sturdy. And I, I think that's a that's a nice nice product. You got the playbook here. Once again, there's that two hours, one or two players, World War II and two hours. So there's a look at the playbook. There's some good examples of play, showing how cards are used. Kind of cool. Um, random event table, different things like that. So I definitely have some reading up to do on this game. Comes with a mounted map board. It's not a huge map board. It is included in a, in a baggie. I think it's interesting. I, I always get rid of the bags or just use them for other purposes. I don't know that I use them uh, for my games. Uh, but yeah, nice looking. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. It's a smaller board, which is fine. It's really a board of uh, the European theater with uh, Russia on the east, obviously, and the Mediterranean. The North Sea uh, area, you have England, obviously the Central European countries, the Mediterranean, North Africa, and then you have you have Russia. Very nice looking map. It is a area movement, so you can see there are different areas. Interesting icons, gas and oil icons here. Uh, I need to read up on the rules and understand, once again, this is not a rules booklet, but a very nice looking uh, Nice looking map there. That, that's definitely nice looking. Definitely the presentation is good. I think this game's gonna be fantastic. So I'll, I'll give you a look at those. So let's get back to the components. Here's a whole bag of wood. Looks like there's quite a few pieces there. You have cubes, you have cylinders, you have discs. You kind of have sticks. Those remind me of roads and uh, roads and Catan. If you've played Pericles by Mark Herman, also by GMT Games, those are naval units. So there you go. There's your wood. And there are embossed pieces. Very nice. Uh, lots of cool dice. Black and, and white. I like them. I think they look really good. And then there are two whole packs of cards. You have your conflict cards, and then you have your Axis event cards. So let's go ahead and, and open the conflict cards. I'm using my teeth. Don't, don't tell my mother. I think I say that in about every video because I always end up using my teeth. Mom used to yell at me a lot, a lot for that as a kid. Obviously, I didn't listen. I'm still doing it. I'm 45 years old. Uh, but here's a look at the cards. So let's go ahead and... And I'll show you the German cards. The cards are based on, you'll notice they're numbers based. The lowest ones start with a one. That's called the sabotage card. So, and then the highest one is your supreme commander. Um, once again, not going to go into a lot of, but it, this game is basically with the conquest card system. It's kind of like war. You're going to play a couple of cards. You're going to, I think, total up. Uh, and then you're going to win certain elements. And, and then there are events on certain cards, like the event cards that you're going to use. But that's a look at the German cards. Here you have Italian cards. Let's see what else we have. We have Russian cards, Americans. And then these look to be wild. So they're for everybody. They're, it's called a double agent. So there's a look at the cards. They're very nice, very well done, very attractive, um, great product. As always, I, I, I've come to expect from GMT, great product. Uh, let's go ahead and open the Axis Event cards. Uh, well, there's actually some uh, other cards that are more wild related. But here's some of the Axis events. Stukas, you can see it says, use in land conflict, may require allies to reroll one allied die of Axis choosing. 
So there is die rolling in uh, in combat. It's just been a while since I did that interview, and I can't quite remember, so I apologize for that, guys. Uh, but these are events, and they're going to come out at certain times. You got V rockets, negative one card enemy hand, so it's it's a game of trying to get away uh, from your opponents, their cards. Waffen SS, you're going to add one die in a land conflict, maximum of five die. You got landing craft, jet fighters. So there's some of the events uh, that you can see there. And then these are allied and Axis events, and then you have allied events. That's one of my favorite pictures from history, that World War II uh, propaganda poster from the Allies showing all the Allies working together for the destruction of the Axis. Always been a favorite, uh, favorite picture of mine. Those grace the back of the Allied events. So there you go, there's a look at those. And then here you have Allied and Axis events. So these are random. Probably when they come up, they're, whoever has the initiative, it's gonna go off. So there's a look at, uh, at those cards. So that's a look, guys, at everything that's in Hitler's Reich, uh, World War II in Europe. Once again, game fresh off the P500, a game that I've had on my P500 for a while. Uh, because it is a nice looking game. It's a game that I've uh, been interested in. And, and I like Mark McLaughlin. I've interviewed him maybe half a dozen times. He's done other games. Lots of, uh, in fact, on the back. Let me just, so I don't butcher it. Uh, he's done the Napoleonic Wars. And then Fred Schachter, his co-designer and developer, uh, worked with him on Wellington. Kutuzov, and then Rebel Raiders on the High Seas, which I know is another GMT uh, game. So there you go. That's a look at Hitler's Reich. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our written blog at theplayersaid.com, where we do strategy articles, session reports, designer interviews, and in-depth reviews, as well as action points, and we post some videos there from time to time. Um, definitely would like your feedback, uh, things that I can do better on these videos. Let me know your thoughts. So appreciate it. Once again, I've been Grant from the Player's Aid, and I can't wait to play Hitler's Reich. Thank you.